Welcome to part 14 of Building Uncle Dorkle. Now on the back, I finally decided to start working on the uh, back cover. And uh, it's awkward to try to get something to fit in here good. Now it's going to be covered with the uh, wig of the hair and the beard and all that stuff. Well, he's not going to have hair, but he's going to have a beard. And the hair down in this area. I added this block of wood here, drilled a hole, put a screw to it to bring out the curvature and that'll be the mounting point. There'll be a, a small hole drilled here and it'll have a, um, a screw, a wood screw in the back of the metal. I, um, I decided to make this out of metal. I, I did a cardboard form and it fits fairly well in there. This will keep it out so it doesn't bang into this and keep it a curved. But instead of doing it in cardboard, I'm, I'm doing it in aluminum, and it's kind of hard to get it to uh, bend. I'll show you what I've been doing here. All right, I got, uh, there's two pieces of very thin aluminum. They came in sheets like this uh, that I got from a roofer years ago, many years ago before we ever ha uh, had our roof done. Different guy altogether. Anyways, there's, there's two of them here, and they're very thin, so I put them together and just put tape on them, and then trying to form them so that it's kind of curved. And still, i got to bend it a little more. Then I... Maybe you can see in there or not. That block of wood keeps it out, keeps it formed. And... Uh, this is about, where my finger is, is about where the screw will be to hold it in place. The only thing I need is up here is put a little something behind here so that this fits flush. i got to trim this yet so that this fits into that opening. It's going to be very difficult to get this to, to seams to be right on this. So I'm going to have to bring hair all the way to this point here and cover it up. And I also have to have it somehow to have the wig or the beard or whatever I'm going to get the material from to make his beard with um, have it so that I can get at this and remove it so maybe the uh, thing will be uh, on velcro uh, the wig itself so that I can remove it from this metal so what I'm going to do is to uh, have to trim it up and get this to fit in there better. I got to spend some time because right now it's not fully bent. It's very hard to bend this without kinking it. I mean, it bends easy, but you know, I'm trying to make it into a circle without kinking it. Because if I once I kink it, now I have to get another piece and start over again. Now, if you notice, I got like three coats of uh, what they call varnish on here and it's got a good shine to it and the eyes are well the eye openings are done as best I can do them um, I did a little more um, work with the uh, paper clay around the left eye trying to get it smoothed out and also the right eye but end up that the uh, well the left eye it's actually his right eye but as you're looking at the for the figure it's the left eye uh, is a little smaller than the right one but I'm not going to get too fussy with it. It's very hard to work on those edges. Very very difficult because um, you know it breaks off easy and I had to stick some cardboard down behind the uh, in front of the eyes down in the back here uh, shove them down that's why it looked like he had red eyes there the other day on one of the other videos. Uh, it's only because I want to protect the eyes and the, the last thing I do of course is to put the irises in. That'll be done the very last. I'm back on the uh, Samsung SL600. I, In the beginning of this video I was using the Fuji JX370 and uh, I started getting garbly sound and everything else. You know and uh, was starting to break up and uh, I don't know, you can't beat the Samsungs for the standard resolution, uh, the SL600, which I'm using now, or the um, SL105, which has the purple fringes on the edges, which I haven't been using lately. The only problem with this one is the, I had to set this on um, daylight because the uh, colors uh, kept changing. 
when it was on auto weight balance. But anyways, um, what I got is this thing. I'm trying to bend this, and I got it set in here like this, but I don't think it's going to stay bent where I want it to. Um, but I'll show you here what I want to try to accomplish here. So hang on just a second. All right. Uh, as I showed you, this is the marking on the back. I put masking tape on it. And this block of wood, of course, is going to keep it out. So it's flushed here, pretty much so. And it comes up to here. I can still trim this a little. But I'm going to have to do something with these sides here. Uh, the only practical way I think I can do it is to maybe put a three-quarter inch or maybe to one inch wide piece of galvanized from here to here, another one from here to here, somehow screw it in or something, so that this can slip behind it like that. So you'd take and you'd fold it like this. You'd bend it a little bit and snap it into place. Then I might not even need the screw in the middle. Um, most ball headed guys, the hair line comes down like this, circled. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that because that's going to have a seam there. There's no way I'm going to be, I'm not that good of an artist that I'm going to be able to make a nice, uh, not noticeable seam to have the bald head come down like that. It's on the back anyways. Who's going to really see it? So it's going to end here in the hairline. Uh, what little hair he's going to have is going to have to start here and go down. I might have a little curvature here. But it's going to be very little, and it all depends on how well this thing fits. So, you, if you notice, I got a little valley here. So I'm figuring that that could, in a way, help maybe. You see, if I was filling this in and taping it up and using the um, the paper clay, there wouldn't be a problem. But this back has to come off, so I can't uh, just put it in there and tape it up and hope I never have to go in there. I got to be able to get inside of this. So that's where we stand now. I got uh, two coats of paint on the ears but no uh, no varnish yet and I got to do the backs but only where I'm not going to glue the ears. I don't need to do that part. So uh, they came out eh, a little better than I started with anyways. But that's it. So I'll come back on this project when I get further along. And uh, right now, they, it's, it's humid, it's hot. I'm not going to be doing anything on this today. We'll come back on it when uh, I have uh, better weather. All right, I ain't going to be doing too much today. Um, this is a couple days later now. Um, I made up this cover out of the aluminum I was telling you about. But I also put in this little tongue, which is going to fit up underneath here. So I got silicone underneath there. It's been dried, drying for almost 24 hours, so it should be okay. I could have probably used a pop rivet in here, but I didn't really want anything. I wanted uh, be, the back to be smooth, so I didn't really want anything in there like that. Although the uh, hair is going to come over that anyways. But we'll take this off and see if this is going to hold okay. Well, um, it's going to fit in there, but i got to take a razor blade and cut off some of this, uh, this silicone right here so she goes up in there flush. But just to give you an idea of how she's going to be, this needs to go up more, and therefore it'll bring this bottom up. I can trim this bottom. That's not a problem. And um, once that's up like that, I can still... Put a screw in here into the back, which I really don't want to do, but that'll be down at the lower end of the hairline anyways, uh, almost down to the neck. He's not going to have real long hair. I want the neck to show, and in addition to that, I don't have enough gray wig to cut up. So, I got to do some more work on this, and I still may put the strips of metal in here to hold this, but I'm not sure yet. I want to just trim this up first and I'll come back on the video. Well, with this going up into here like this, 
it looks to me like I gotta cut this a little bit here just a tiny bit so I'll take the coping saw and cut it now if I have to I got only one screw in here I can take this block out and cut it in the vise but I'll try to cut it take a little bit of this off so that this comes in a little more but not much I'll just take probably about an eighth inch off of it alright that fits a lot better and she closes it up down at the bottom now what I gotta do is to trim this bottom I probably don't have to. His hair's going to be over that. So I can still put a screw in here to hold it. Or there's a couple of options here. I can make another one of these tongues, one on each edge here, on each side, one for here and one for here. So that it holds it in that way. That wouldn't need a screw at all. You see, this is basically how I wanted it. See how that bottom is? Like that. So I only have to cut off probably a, just a little bit off this bottom. So that when this goes up underneath, you know, all I can do is take this, put a little bend in this, if I can, so that when this goes under, this won't be indented so much. But uh, overall, the back don't don't fit too 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 bad. But I'm not doing much today on it because it's very very humid. I got the ears, a second coat of the uh, paint, but until I get the ears on here, then I'll put the uh, clear coat on. I still got a little bit here, paint up here a little bit more. So that's. Uh, all right, I trimmed it up a little bit. You can see where I'm in here now. She fits pretty damn good. I think the hair will cover that pretty well and that's gonna be the way it's gonna have to be. I can't get this any better than this. But what I can try to do in this area here, build it up a little bit, probably with masking tape, not uh, paper clay, and then paint it and try to get it to, uh, you know, blend in a little better but still be able to remove this I you put a bend in this a little more I don't know if you can really see that but she uh, kind of goes out and then back in again so she fits up underneath there like that all right so um, I think this is going to be a short video here because I got more work to do, but it's going to take several days before I can get back on it again. So, um, this is the end of part number 14 of Building Uncle Dorkle. I have a lot of little things I have to do yet. And uh, like I said so many times, i still got material to put in here to get this part done. Uh, when this is done, then I can put the ears on, because i got to lay this on its back and, you know... And I also got to lay it forward, and I got to make some kind of a jig to protect the nose, and nothing will happen to it. So, that's it, folks, for this episode of Building Uncle Doracle. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all my friends and wonderful comments.